morning. Um, I'm up here at Mount Rainier National Park. I'm up here with the mountaineers and we're camping down at Oh Ohana Pakaj. And uh, got up here really late last night and did some star photos, which were, I hope, <laughs> turned out absolutely amazing because they looked absolutely amazing last night. It was really exciting. Stopped at Box Canyon and got some photos there. Stopped at, uh, Hi, little birdie. Stopped at uh, Reflection Lakes, got some photos there, and I actually kind of slept in my car up here. It's around about midnight that I finally um, got up here. So I had this idea, and I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm gonna give it a try though. There's, the photographers are already jockeying the preposition at Reflection Lakes, and I am, thinking I want to go somewhere else. There is a huge, I don't know if you can see it up there, a huge lenticular cloud above Mount Rainier. So you really can't see the mountain very much. But that should be really pretty with some early morning light. Oh, there's some ducks in the lower reflection lakes. And uh, there's a trail that goes up to some lakes that are just beyond Reflection Lake. So that was my idea. It is close to peak wildflower season. So um, I was kind of hoping to get some wildflowers. And it was supposed to be raining. And I don't know if the rain is going to come or not. But right now the skies are somewhat clear with that huge lenticular cloud over Mount Rainier. Sun is starting to show some color some places, so I don't know how much time I have. I Sunrise is supposed to be, not supposed to be for another 40 minutes and um, I should have probably, probably been in position, but off I go. I will see you in a little bit. I'm doing this one all by my phone because I wasn't too sure about the weather. But here we go. Oh, wow, will you look at this? Isn't this great? So I'm not up to the little tarns yet. And I just have to stop because this is just so beautiful. We've got these gorgeous rocks down here that are I have great composition, but these are leading into these mountains over here. And then you have Lake Louise down below. You can see little bench lake in here. Um, but I've got a composition set up and I'm gonna go ahead and photograph this. You can see pretty much, whoops, what I've got here. And I'm shooting at F10, ISO of 200. Um, 0.5 seconds and I'm gonna go ahead and it's on a two-second timer and I also realized as I was hiking up here that um, ah, lovely perfect um, that I had left my polarizer in the car so silly me um, but I'm still gonna keep hiking and see what I can get and I really like this. I might try a horizontal shot too. Ooh, I just said the word shot. Yeah. Okay. further I hike up the trail, uh, the less sky I'm seeing, less color I'm seeing. I'm not really, I don't think I'm going to get the color I was hoping for this morning, but I kind of figured that anyways, because it was supposed to be raining actually. Uh, but I'm really not that upset about that because this is just a gorgeous place to be in. It's a trail I haven't been hiked on before in Mount Rainier, which I know some of you are going to think, whoa, what? Uh, 
I should have hiked every trail in Mount, Mount Rainier National Park. But um, no, I haven't hiked this one and these gorgeous, gorgeous meadows. I am just absolutely loving this. So there's gonna be a lot of flowers. There's also a lot of wind. So I'm gonna have to find a nice uh, secluded area where there's not a lot of wind bopping the flowers around. But I'm gonna look for some flowers. I might go up a little bit further uh, just because I can and um, see what's up further. From this trail, you are supposed to be able to get some really great views of Mount Rainier. In fact, this hooks into the uh, Mazama Ridge Trail, and you can get some beautiful views of Mount Rainier. I don't think I'm going to get them today. Uh, clouds are really coming in, although they're kind of being pushed really quickly on the on the wind. But um, yeah, I think I missed color. That's okay uh, because I'm getting a lot of color in the meadows at my feet. So really happy about that. I'm going to kind of meander around, see if I can find a composition that I really love, and I will see you in a minute. So this is a dry creek bed down there, and along its side it's just covered with lupin, and it's just beautiful, and I wish there was a trail down there. There's not. If to get that image, I'd have to stomp through the meadow, and uh, that's a big no-no. You don't want to go stomping through these meadows. These are very delicate meadows. Alpine meadows. They have a very short season to grow. I mean, it is right now the end of July, and some of these flowers are just blooming. I mean, think of that, about that in your own garden. But you got some gorgeous heathers here, and then the lupin along this dry creek bed. And man, I wish I could get down in there, but uh, I don't want to destroy this meadow. This meadow is more precious than my photograph. So um, please think about that when you're out in some of these alpine meadows. They are very delicate places and you don't want to go stomping through them. So I'm going to be a good girl. I'm going to stay on the trail and uh, hope I can find something similar up the trail. So I found a lovely little composition here. Uh, we've got some lupin. There's a little bit of paintbrush, just a little bit, and some heather. And I really am liking, there's a curve right here, if you can just kind of see it um, along the edge on, on the right between the heather and the lupin and it just kind of almost makes a little S curve through the scene and I really, I find, I find this really pretty attractive. Um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to move it to an F11 because I, I want to make sure I'm getting it in focus all the way through the back, from, from the front to the back. Um, I do have my tripod up a little so I've got a little distance between me and the flowers so I don't have to worry about um, getting too close to the flowers and needing to focus stack and now all I'm waiting for is the wind to die down just a bit uh, so the loop in here in the middle aren't bopping around all over the place um, but it's just again a beautiful beautiful little little tarn wonderful meadow um, looks like there is a view this way that people have gone to look at, uh, but right now all we're seeing is cloud. But, um, just waiting, waiting. Got my camera on two second timer. I'm going to go ahead and push it, hoping that it, let's see, it looks like it might be clear. I'm going to try and get a couple more images just to make sure the flowers are not moving too much. <music> bear poo which is making my heart race just a little bit faster it doesn't look like it's super fresh but fresh enough um, I have to start singing out as I hike along um, now this is a national park and bears do happen in national parks just like elk and deer do uh, looking around um, but it's just absolutely gorgeous up here. Just lots of wind. Decided to move on from that spot because the wind just was not dying down and I was getting a little cold. So I'm just kind of going to keep moving just a little bit talk out loud, 
boxing, that sort of stuff. Make sure if there is a bear around, they're not interested in coming close to me. I've run into far too many bears in my life and don't want to run into one alone again. So, hopefully everything will be clear. Well, I found another lovely little composition behind me, another little scene. The fall, the clouds are low now and they're just kind of drifting in and out of the scene and it's just, it really creates a pretty atmosphere. And I don't know if my image will do what I'm seeing justice, uh, but I'm gonna photograph it anyways. Uh, it's at F11 again, uh, this time one sixth of a second again. Uh, it's not really fast and the wind is still blowing, but it's just, it's, I mean, look at it. It's just pretty back there, right? So I'm going to give it a try, see what comes up. If I like it, you'll see it. If not, I'll see you in the next clip. area of the park is called paradise. I mean, oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, I can stay up here all day photographing. Oh my gosh, and then the clouds just kind of drifting in. We are getting some interesting color behind us. Yeah, you probably can't see that, that's okay. Oh, wow, just look at this water. Gorgeous. Oh, I'm so glad I came up. I've been dying, just dying at work, seeing everybody's photos of flowers everywhere, and I just needed to get out and see some wildflowers and commune with nature and hopefully center myself a little bit. It's been kind of rough lately. And This really, really honestly helps. Oh my gosh. Oh. Gorgeous. So I found a sweet little composition. If you can see behind me, there's a hill right about here that is uh, looped, and right in front of it is, on the edge, is some uh, Indian paintbrush and bright red. And I put on my longer lens, my, my uh, 70 to 300 lens, and I'm focused in on just the crease with just a bit of the. Uh, loop in the background, some Indian paintbrush. Not too sure if it's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm hearing some odd noises over there. So I'm still thinking there might be a bear around. There might not be. I'm again hoping it's gone away. Uh, Cause it didn't look pooed. It looked uh, extremely fresh, but I'm going to go ahead. Uh, it's uh, can open this one up. Cause I don't necessarily need an F11 on this. Probably gonna go with an uh, F8. Uh, maybe, maybe a little bit even uh, more open than that. I'm not positive yet. And uh, just go ahead and get a faster shutter speed because the wind is really kind of knocking these flowers around right now, and it's kind of making uh, flower photographers' life miserable. Uh, I'm not wanting motion right to, today. I, I just want pretty flowers. So I'm going to give that a try and if it uh, turns out you'll be seeing it. It's getting windier and I thought I saw a couple of raindrops so I decided to turn around and um, saw this beautiful little scene. You see how I have this little, it probably is water, water runoff. 
uh, during the melt and it just kind of makes this wonderful little curve through the landscape. We've got some flowers in the foreground, trees in the background. We've got a nice little composition set up here. Um, let's see if we can see it. And it's got some nice fog, flowers again in the foreground, nice fog drifting away into the trees. And uh, it's at, I think I need to put it on about an F, at least an F8. Let's see, I don't really need necessarily mind what's in the fog going soft on me. But I still have my longer zoom lens on. And, um, to try and capture this. And I've got it still on a two second timer. And I'm just waiting for the wind to die down enough. It's at 1 30th of a second. So hopefully this will work. Gosh, it's gorgeous. See how the flowers are just popping everywhere, just flying everywhere. I think that kind of worked. I seem to have some, the, the sky is kind of blown out, but you know, the sky is kind of blown out and I'm not too worried about that. I might go ahead and uh, crop that down in Photoshop when I get, get back home. But uh, gosh, how pretty is this? You get some little drifting clouds through. It's just a pretty scene. All right. Heading back. really great hill with lots and lots of flowers on it and then a really cute little Dr. Seuss tree type tree uh, just a little sapling uh, surrounded by some beautiful flowers and set up a really just a nice composition that's just focused directly on the tree it's centered takes up most of the image and um, took a couple of photos I'm actually kind of like, uh, liking this one so I'm uh, hoping to see it when I get back back home and um, it's starting to really get a heavy mist now so I'm glad I turned back when I did my hands are getting cold um, my knees are okay <laughs> right at the moment but uh, I think I see a little birdie over there you hear them all over yeah uh, so gonna head back there's one other image I'm looking for I saw it on my way up and I uh, want to keep the long lens on so I can get that photo and then I'm going to head back down to the car, go find camp, and get my tent set up and get some warmth in me. <laughs> Maybe a nice hot cup of tea. I'll see you in a bit. To walk down this trail and she won't let me. Come on, baby. Come on. Can I go past? Can I go past? Oh, there she oh, Come on, baby. Come on. Let me past. Let me past. Please. Please. Oh, gosh, I don't want to disturb her too much. Come on, baby. Why is she not flying away? She needs to fly away. Come on, baby. Oh, you're so beautiful. Come on, I need to come walk past, honey. I need to walk past. Can I? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on, baby. Can I? Here we go. She's just walking down the trail in front of me. Oh my gosh, I'm never going to get my tea this way. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so cute. Okay, gosh. I don't know what I'm going to do. I may just follow her a little bit more. Maybe she'll go off in the woods. Maybe she'll go off in the bushes. Maybe she'll go off in the bushes. 
Look at the baby. You don't have any bushes. She doesn't have any babies with her. Maybe this is some... Oh, man. She... She's so cool. Okay. I'm going to have to disturb her. After hiking a bit with this little lady, or I should say strolling since she wasn't moving it very fast, I decided that instead of setting up camp, I was going to head warmly inside the Paradise Lodge and get some breakfast in their grand banquet hall where they have breakfast every morning during the summertime. Nice large breakfast. Then, you know, spent some time just enjoying the the lodge itself. I, it's a beautiful lodge uh, constructed in 1916 with uh, gorgeous wood uh, log beams and this great fireplace. I mean who doesn't love a great big fireplace like that where you can sit and check your email messages although there's really not much email there. If you want a little bit more solitude head upstairs to the loft where the it's lined with these chairs and desks where you can sit and read a book, write some, write a poem, write a story, chat, have friends. They have games in the area, so you can grab a game and, and play a game with your family or friends. And uh, just a beautiful, beautiful lodge, a well worth the visit. One of the, my favorite things about the lodge are these lampshades that are hand painted, I believe, of a lot of the wildflowers that you can find in the meadows in Paradise. So the uh, lodge sits right on the edge of Paradise Meadows. It has a view of Mount Rainier and in August, late July, August, the meadows are absolutely filled with wildflowers and tourists. It's, uh, you, it's hard to get into the lodge uh, during this season. But if you can get there, then uh, do so. I mean, book early, and um, you'll always find a ranger on duty to help you find your find a good hike to make your stay enjoyable. And speaking of enjoyable, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and ring the bell for more notifications, and I'll see you on the next adventure.